Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about new K-Beauty that just landed at Sephora. I showed this off during a more recent unboxing and I was really mesmerized by how everything looked, well not everything, but how most things looked like a macaroon. So they have these cute little macaroon-esque uh, highlighters. We're gonna get to playing with everything and breaking it all down. I am wearing a ton of the product on my face right now. I have been trying these out for many, many days, so this is not a first impressions. This is a full rundown with swatches, prices, and every bit of info that I can offer up to you guys. So uh, there's a lot here. I kinda wanna show you. Whoa. Okay. This was the box. And this was kind of where I was just like, oh my God, like new Sephora makeup always makes my heart just flutter a little bit, if you will. Like I just love it when they bring out new brands that I have never heard of. That is when I get really jazzed about makeup again and it's just fresh packaging, fresh formula, fresh product, and I love it so much. So this one is Kaja. I hope that's how you say it. I have no info on this brand. I really had never heard of it. But it says it's new and exclusively at Sephora. This is K-Beauty. It is made in Korea. Let me make sure of that. <laughs> Made in Korea, distributed in San Francisco. So this is K-Beauty and the whole thing has that vibe with it. So what I got in the actual PR kit was a cushy vibe for $18, a beauty bento, which is eyeshadow stacked together. The packaging is super cool and quite convenient. I like that. The Mochi Glow, they have four shades. That's the one that looks like an edible, delicious macaroon and actually <laughs> makes me really hungry for macaroons because I'm gluten-free and I can usually eat macaroons. Like side note, really random, but I totally love macaroons. Okay, so we have those. And then the Cheeky Stamp. Now, this is what's cute about the cheeky stamp, and I'm gonna get to the application and like if it worked, if it didn't, um, but let me just show you, because this was not what I was expecting. These are $24, it is a cushion blush. You guys know I'm all about the cushion foundation, cushion products just really wow me. I am, in fact, wearing a cushion foundation today that is not from Savora, Sav Savora. Sephora sister. Huh. It's not from Sephora. This is called Misha. And this was the first time I was testing it out. So I can't give you like the full rundown on it, but I was just kind of, I don't know. I was keeping with the theme of testing out K-Beauty. And this is the Misha M Magic Cushion. It has an SPF of 50. This is number 23. And I just love a good cushion foundation. You know what's great about cushion products? You can clean up and blend out and they're very forgiving. So today I had a little bit of an issue with one of my lines and I cleaned it up and then I actually took a crease brush and I went back in and I used my cushion foundation and kind of erased the mistake and you can't tell. It's one of these wild things, but cushion foundation makes for a wonderful touch up item. I don't know why, because normally when you put a cream on top of any powders, you will have a huge issue with it, but with cushion products, they always work out. It's great. I love a good cushion item. So back to this right here, this is the cushion blush in bossy. You go in here and you have your cushion product, right? So that's very, very pretty. It's a cushion blush. It kind of dries down a little bit powdery. I like the texture of it. And on top, you have this little stamper. So it gets the right amount. And for me, if you guys saw me struggle with any cream blushes in the past from NARS, you know, the liquid one, I always tend to overuse it and I try not to. And I know it's my own issue and that not everybody has that problem with it, but I have that problem with it. So I personally really like that they give you you know, this little stamper, I didn't stamp it in the thing yet. <laughs> Let's just fail all the way around. Okay, they give you this little stamper and you stamp your cheek and then you have the appropriate amount for most people to kind of just blur and buff it out and it ends up looking really nice. So I like this one. This is the shade Saucy. I also have the shade Bossy, which is a nice coral shade. I have the shade Feisty and Koi. So I have four shades right here. They're a little bulky. I think that is the drawback, but how cute and colorful is the packaging? How user-friendly is the actual cushion stamper? And the price on it is not terrible. So all these items are under 30 and for a Sephora item, I don't think that's half bad. I'm doing this kind of out of sequence, but we're just gonna kind of get our hands in it all, I promise you. So let's go into the Kaja Macaroon collection. You open it up, you have your little mirror right here and it is a putty 
highlight. So it is that kind of Stila putty-esque type of a highlight. And I think these are beautiful. If you wish for a more intense type of a look, you can definitely dampen a brush, go in here, pick up some of the color, and you're gonna be able to like, ooh, yes, like look at that, right? It will really build up. It is so nice and creamy. I really do enjoy these. Do I think you can get a drugstore option? Absolutely, you don't have to get this. It's not like the most unusual thing ever. I have to say one that I am super hooked on right now is from Fenty and I blame Thomas for this because I was not in the market to like go out and buy new highlighters. Like that's one thing that I'm like, Tati, like meditate, let go, like let go of the highlight that you don't need. They all look the same. And then I saw that one and I was just like, <gasps> I was like, oh my gosh, I need this in my life. And actually I'm gonna show you guys cause like, it's so good. It's a really cool product. Um, you can actually hear Rihanna singing when you open the compact, it's wild. And then every time you kind of like turn your head, like you can hear her singing also. Like I kind of feel like a Care Bear stare is just like leaving my cheek with like glittery love every time I wear this product. This is one of the best highlights I've ever, 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 ever used. Okay, so check it out. Stop that. You stop traffic with this. Ooh, I'm gonna be here for a minute. Just like, oh my God. Oh, oh look at that. Oh my God. If you like a blinding, Highlight, raise your hand, I do. I would definitely go with the Fenty highlight versus this highlight right here. If you want something more subtle and you're not into like the full blind glitter situation, that's totally understandable. Not everybody wants to be this foiled, you know, and there are different options for you. You know, from the drugstore, I love all the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighters, um, and this one's really cute and great, but if you only could pick one right now, I would pick the Fenty one, if you wanna be blinded. Let's take a look at just the swatches before I move on and then we will move on. For the Mochi Glow highlighters, I have the shade Luna number three, the shade Prism number two, which is what I started out with today. It has a really nice iridescence. I have the shade Stardust, which would look so stunning on deeper skin tones. And I love that they have this shade. This also looks good as a bronzer. It like has a nice warmth to it. And on bare skin, it melts right into it. And I think it's quite nice. And then Toy Alien, which could be the best name of a highlighter in the longest time. Like that is such a great name for a highlight, Toy Alien. I love it. These are cute. Moving on. I am so on the fence with these. Okay, so this is the Kaja. What are these even called? What you called? Hmm? Mm -hmm. These are the Cushy Vibe Liquid Lips. They're not really liquid lip that dries down and is going to be transfer proof because like it'll get kind of everywhere. These are a little bit of a trick to put on because they do have that puffy whipped texture. That's not my favorite and it's not what I reach for every single day if I'm gonna do something darker especially, but these are not bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that for $18, I don't know that they're worth it. They're pretty, but they're not super fabulous, you know? It looks nice on my lips right now, like I'm not complaining. I think it looks nice, but with the just mass amount of products that are out there and available to you guys. I just don't think this is anything for everybody to like freak out over. It's not my favorite of this new launch. So I did wanna show you guys swatches really quickly. We have the shade Silk Robe, Satin Sheets, which is what I am wearing right now, and then Cashmere. Wait, am I wearing satin sheets? Yes, I'm wearing satin sheets, right? No, I don't think I am. Now I am, ha 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 ha. What do you guys think? Do you think this is like extra special great? Do we love it? Do we not? I'm kind of on the fence. I kind of love it. It feels a little puffy and a little dangerous like it might get on my teeth. So for me personally, I typically lean into more of a dry down liquid lip that's at least somewhat budge proof. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm not like constantly in the back of my head going, oh, do I have lipstick on my teeth? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I think these are bad. They're just, I don't know, actually that is kind of pretty, right? Like I kind of match my, sh oh, I match. Tell me in the comments below, what do you think of these lip products? Would you spend $18 on them? Or do you think you should just stick to drugstore items when it comes to an item like this? All right, you guys, now to the fun part and the items that I really, really loved so, so much. And I'm also gonna talk about an item, a couple of items that are not at Sephora, but are more higher end. I have a lot of K-beauty stuff. I wanna do another video that is more geared towards 
afford, things that are available here in the States at the drugstore that are not, you know, over 20 bucks and that whole thing. So today we're speaking about the Sephora, the higher end and all of that. And I wanted to talk to you guys about Dear Dahlia. If you have not heard of this brand, it is a fantastic, Fantastic. Oh my gosh, why do we get an accent sometime for no reason? Okay, it's a really good brand and I am shocked by how much I really truly love this eyeshadow. So this is a very unique little setup that we have here. You have two shades that are almost a satin finish, but not completely, like they're an almost matte, slightly satin finish. I really love these. They blend out in the crease like so perfectly. I can't even tell you. It's like two seconds of blending and you're done. You know, I went in first with the lighter shade, the more camel tone shade right here in my crease, blended both together, went back in the crease, took the darker shade, kind of focused on the outer edge, pulled it underneath the lower lash line, took my finger into the more metallic shade right here, which is 100% blinding and beautiful, patted that on my lid. And then to also show you guys what another stack of shadows is capable of doing, I also went into this right here, this little bento box stack trio, and I think they are stunning. Now they are all metallic, so if you're looking for a matte, this is not for you. But if you're looking for a very interesting, creamy, long wear uh, type of a pigment, look at that right? So pretty. The one in the middle is just like, oh, so, so nice. Okay. Then we have the bottom one right here, kind of bronzy. I ended up patting this on the outer edge today just to kind of show you guys. Okay. Back to the top one. So you can see all three of them together. That is just like so freaking stunning. I can't. Let's do the other one on the other arm. So the first one that I showed you is the Orange Blossom Trio, number two. This one is the Rosewater Trio. So this top shade right here is like pure magic. I have this in my inner corner, so nice. Second shade right here, also very, very nice. These have a little bit of a grit to them. I don't think you need a glitter glue or anything like that, but just be mindful to press in and not fluff everywhere, especially with the lighter shades, because you will get a little bit of metallic kind of fluff everywhere. And if you don't want that, then definitely um, do your eyes first. Make sure you're pressing. If you think it's necessary, then go in with a glitter glue or go in with a dampened brush. But I just think that these are really nice quality and I'm excited about them. And I think the packaging, having them all together like this is really easy to just throw in your purse. It's super cute. I love it. Uh, and the price is not terrible either. It is $21 for all three shadows that are super great quality. Okay, let me clean myself up here. I have one last item to chat about. I do not like the applicator. I do not like the packaging because it's tough to work with. Like it's so itty bitty, you kind of are a little awkward with it. And then this doe foot applicator is so close to the lid that it does feel a little bit challenging to have good like press in the lips. It just kind of feels a little bit flimsy. This is from um, Dahlia Beauty again. This is one of their lip treatments. However, that being said, if you're looking for something that has that shine, that is really, really reflective, but you don't like that thick gel consistency, and you want something that's not gloppy or slides around everywhere and does really hydrate the lips, this is beautiful. So they have the shade uh, Twilight right here, which is this hot pink that doesn't really come out so hot pink. It more has like a tint of hot pink than anything else. And then we have this other one right here. How cute is like this marble packaging. So then we have a more peach toned one that again, if you see my hand, you can't really see any color. It's just shine and nourishment for the lips. And this is in the shade Moon Glow. So I do really like both of these, the way they end up looking on the lips, the way they end up wearing, the way they feel the applicator leaves a little bit to be desired if I am just giving you all of my thoughts A to Z. All right, you guys, that brings us to the end of this video, trying on products, watching product, me telling you everything A to Z about these new products that just landed at Sephora and then another K-Beauty brand. If you enjoy this kind of a thing, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And also make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. I am here all of the time. So basically just come back all of the time and there will be something new, but 
really, you can also ring the bell because that will notify you when I actually upload during that time. And I am here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 10 a.m. PST. So I hope you come and hang out with me again. I would love that so much. And I hope you guys are having a good one. Thank you so much for watching, for your love, for your support, for hanging out with me. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.